Thank you, and enjoy my avid. Avid. My name is Tiana and I'm a flyer and a tumbler for Northeast Lady Vikings. I am George Manastra. My name is Zoe Cohen and uh, I'm a flyer and a tumbler for Northeast High Cheerleading. My name is Joanne. I'm a flyer and I tumble. Hello, my name is Terrell. I'm a back spot and base and I do tumbling. If if you got flips, yeah, it's pretty fun. That's that's the main part I like about it. Flip part. About it. What is the best part of the cheerleading experience? Um, making new friends, cause um, I never met Tanera if it wasn't for cheerleading, and um, I wouldn't know as much as I know now. My favorite part is the mounting. Um, I love teaching the girls the stuff, and it's honestly what I was always the best at when I was a cheerleader was throwing kids up in the air and all the tricks. So it's definitely my favorite part, even though it is also the scariest part because that's where the most damage and the kids can get hurt the most. The best part is competition. I like flying and I like tumbling, go to gymnastics and like the system and everything. I just love to really, it's like I've done it for so long, like I just, it's really a part of me, I just love it. How does it feel being the manager of the cheerleading team? Um, it feels great, actually. I've been doing it for two years now, so I love doing it and being by the cheerleader side and managing them. Um, it can get rough at times, you know, dealing with all the girls and it can be overwhelming, but, you know, I wouldn't trade it. I love doing it. I have been a cheerleader since I was in the third grade. Did it all through elementary school, high school, and even in college. I first started coaching when I was actually in the ninth grade to my local elementary school. I was one of the helpers, and I loved doing it. I loved teaching all the kids all the stuff with cheerleading, mounts, and all of that. So when I came here to Northeast High School, that kind of just was my path and where what I wanted to do along with teaching. Our normal role with the cheerleaders is to help with their injuries if some occur. Um, we've had some concussions in the past, sprained ankles, shoulder sprains, etc. Cheerleading is a physically demanding sport and therefore injuries do occur. So I assist the cheerleading coaches in terms of making sure the athletes are ready and prepared with uh, best physical ability. Oh, it can be. I mean, teenage girls are teenage girls. And they have a lot of opinions, but it's knowing when helping them learn how to express themselves and learning how to, what's the word, um, learning what they want to say in the appropriate manner. And I feel that's part of my job as coach is teaching you guys how to express yourselves and say what you want to say in the appropriate way. How was your experience truly and for the Lady Vikings for four years? It was good. I had fun. Are you the captain? Yes, girl. What is the most stressful part about being a captain? Getting the whole team together. Do it get frustrating at times? Every day. All day. Sometimes <laughs> when like when like there's an upcoming event that we have to do and like not everybody's like there or it's just like everybody's so frustrated, everybody's arguing all the time. It is not necessarily difficult my job. The injuries I've been lucky enough that the uh, cheerleaders have been in solid shape. Um, if there's something that goes beyond my scope of expertise, we do have an outside athletic trainer that I can then refer the students to in terms of getting further follow-up. Do it take up a lot of your time or is it stressful? Um, it could be stressful, especially close to competition time because everybody wants to be um, perfect and, and not everybody um, gets 100%. But um, at the same time, it's a good experience because we meet new things and we face new challenges. Coaches, they did their thing. 
I heard about them and the team, like the whole team did a good job. Got great champs. We all love each other, like they but what is the difference between competition season and football season? The difference between the both of them is um, in football season, it's uh, not as much work, not so much stress. You know, I mean, you still have to get everything in order and, you know, organize the girls and get them ready to cheer. But when a competition starts, that's when it really like lays on thick and um, you, know, you have to make sure that everything is like precise and exact and has to be put at its best. The advice I would give is to do the best you can and always try, stop being scared and know that it is what the, it is the fear that makes things harder. And if you just do what you're told and do what you know, you will be fine. Also, get your grades up and stop being knuckleheads. <laughs>